These are what we call our Chuck P. Hill uh, Community Service Award. Chuck Hill used to own Hill Distribu Distribution. His uh, daughter was gonna be here today. She could not, and Chuck died unexpectedly about three years ago. He was wildly successful in the beverage business. But what he did behind scenes, people don't know, is he paid for kids to go to college. He paid people's bills that couldn't pay their bills. He didn't want anybody to know. I found out after he, after he passed away by his daughters and some other community leaders. I couldn't believe it. So we have an award that we give out. We give out to kids that I think in 2018 did an unbelievable job in community service. It doesn't have to be just affiliated with Next, which we do a lot of community service, but they did a lot on their own. So this year, for the first time, we're going to give it to two kids because I was so impressed with what they did. And so when I call your name, come up here, please. The first one doesn't even play for next, unfortunately. That's a very bad decision by him. We're going to try to get him to change that. But I can't tell you how much I appreciate this kid. And I hope he's here. Is Lachlan McDonald here? Lock yes, here we go. Let's give him a hand. Let's give him a hand. You had no idea, did you? So Lachlan plays for Mid-Ohio Pumas, but that's going to change here in the next, I don't know, year, right, year? So I, I, I would never take another kid. I, I would never take another kid from another team, not publicly. but so, so Lachlan does a lot through his church. I mean, a lot of community service things. Hold the ball. He goes through, he does a lot of things through his, through his church. We have a thing called the Invite Only Camp every August and September, and we would invite kids. We usually have about 72 kids that we handpick and we invite. We play right here. It's very competitive. Almost every week, Lachlan said, I'll be late because we have things that we're doing at our church as far as within the church and within the community. And I was just so impressed with that that I wanted to tell you how proud I am of you. And this is the kind of kid that someday I want my daughter to marry right here, okay? I can say that because she's much younger than him, so I don't have to worry about it happening. But he, this is the kind of guy I want to come to my house, okay? The other kid, stay here, you're not going anywhere. The other kid is Reed Apke. Where's Reed? Yeah. I've known Reed since he was in fourth grade. Now he's almost as tall as me. He does the same thing, too. A lot of community service away from next. Both of these two have been affiliated with Next Projects. One year we gave away 1,200 pairs of shoes through Souls for Souls. Both of these kids brought shoes and trash bags for us, for us to give uh, through the Souls for Soul uh, Foundation in Nashville. So I can't thank these two kids enough. I'm very proud to be associated with them and their families, and their families. And I don't know where mom and dad are, but you should be very proud. Should be very proud of these two. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you. All right. So you had no idea, did you? <laughs> so the E stands for and next, everybody counts. Everybody counts. This is very important to kids. You're going to be on a team. Your team's going to have skill level here, here, and here. All right. If you're here, all it means is that you're the best player on your team. Doesn't mean that you are even the best kid as far as best teammate. All it means is that you are the best kid on the team. Okay. At the end of the day, everybody counts. There's a janitor that's gonna clean this when we leave today. He or she counts. There's somebody who turned those lights on. Joe Blind unlocking the doors for us. Your parents driving you here, okay? Everybody counts. You need to remember that. And that E also stands for encouragement. So what we like to do every year is we give out, this is really an important award to me. It's the Jamie Charlton Leadership Award. Bill, my father-in-law of 12 years now, lost his son when he was 20 years old at a motorcycle accident uh, at the off, on the on-ramp over at Lenox. Uh, the, that's the one right before Ohio State Lane Avenue. He was on a motorcycle. Um, I remember my wife told me, she was home, and she goes, I'm gonna tell you right now, there's knocks on your door, and then there's knocks by highway patrolmen. They're distinctly different. I have six kids. If I lost one of them, it'd be very tough. They've been married over 30 years. Terry lost her daughter this year at 47. She became addicted to painkillers. She was not a drug addict. She was not a, she ended up being one, but she wasn't, that's not where her life was going. 
And then slowly but surely, she started taking heavier drugs. And somebody sold her fentanyl. She didn't know it was fentanyl. She passed away. So, I see the youngest kids down there. I see the oldest kids up here. If you remember anything about what we're doing here, don't ever use drugs. You say, well, I just vape. I just vape. It's a gateway drug. It's a gateway drug. Companies are just trying to get you hooked on it. And then that's not going to be enough. Then it's going to be marijuana. Then that's not going to be enough. Then it's going to be cocaine. Then that's not going to be enough. Then it's going to be heroin. And then the next thing after that, it's either going to be jail or in a graveyard. And your parents could deal with anything. Cancer of their spouse. Cancer of their mom and dad. But they can't take losing you. Just remember that. Nothing in life is worth getting involved with drugs or people that are using drugs. Not one thing. And please don't buy into lie. It's recreational. That's a joke. It's a lie. It's a complete lie. There's nothing recreational about drugs at all. Okay? Everybody got that? You got buy-in on that? So this year, we give out a leadership award. Last year, where's Daniel? Where's Daniel Geese? Stand up, Daniel. Come up here, Daniel. So last year, Daniel, I've had the pleasure of competing against Daniel <laughs> since he was in fifth grade. Uh, poor kid had knee surgery, dislocated his kneecap like three different times, two or three different times, had to have surgery, didn't get to play last year. This summer when he played, I felt so bad for him because he was trying to play on one leg, ended up being one of our best players this year, absolutely played great this year. But last year he couldn't play, would have started if he was healthy. But you know what he decided to do? He decided to be a team manager, came to practice every day. That's a leader. There's another kid in this room, same thing happened to him. I think it was like August 8th or August 16th, I get a picture on Facebook of him shooting in his driveway in a chair, in a chair, one of those chairs your mom and dad take to a baseball game or soccer game with his knee propped up shooting, wanting to get better because he tore his ACL in football. His name is Trent Tolford. Where's Trent? <laughs> now what sucks for Trent is that he would more, much rather be here in shorts and tennis shoes and getting ready to play than being given this award because of what happened. But these are what leaders do. They didn't make it about themselves. They made it about the teams. Trent brought an iPad to every game and kept stats, kept stats. He would have started on his team if he would have been healthy. He never had negative body language. It had to be killing him at some point. He never made it about him. He made it about his team. And because of that, I think we should recognize him and Daniel last year as our Jamie Charlton Leadership Award winner. I got a trophy for him.